Today we'll be seeing how many Legos it takes to get to the moon. So that thing right there. One Lego is about six centimeters, but two Legos is only 10 because this little two meter cover part up here gets taken off of the Lego's height. The pin right here is equivalent to about five Legos, which is also equivalent to 22 centimeters. This random pillow stack I made is about seven Legos tall, which is also about 30 centimeters. If we, add a, if we add one more pillow, then it's 10 Legos tall, aka 42 centimeters. There is 27 Legos tall, and that's also 110 centimeters tall. But this stack is really big, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna just calculate it instead because I don't th I don't have any more Legos. So an average one-story house is about um. 112 Legos tall, which is also equivalent to 14 feet and 426 centimeters. The Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in the world, and it's 82,800 centimeters tall, which that means that it's 20,706 meters tall. I mean, Legos tall, sorry. That's pretty tall, though. If Test that if you want. The Earth is about 1.27 billion centimeters, which translates to 317 million 500,000 and six Legos. That is really big, oh my God! Here we go, the answer you've all been waiting for. It takes exactly, no, not exactly, approximately 95 billion, 250 million and six Legos to get to the moon. But, let me tell you something that's also crazy. You would need 95 billion Legos to reach the moon, right? But there's 400 billion bricks on Earth today, which that means that you could go between the Earth and moon four times and still have spare Legos left over using my calculation. So yeah, that's basically it. It takes 95 billion, 250 million, and six Legos to reach the moon. And, there's since there's 400 billion Lego bricks on Earth today, that means that you can go back and forth four times with left spare Legos left over. That's pretty much all I have to say. Please like and subscribe, and peace out!